It's coming. It's been a long time, but the property boom is well on its way and you need to be ready. So in this video, we will tell you what to expect. We've been talking about the 18 year property cycle for a long time now. And that's not just because we're short of ideas, it's because it's extremely powerful as a framework for telling what's gonna to happen to property prices. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing about the cycle, do not worry, we've got you covered. If the 18 year property cycle is relatively new to you, or you'd like a bit of a refresher, we'll link you in the description to a video that we've done on this subject. So the first thing you're gonna see is property being talked about pretty much everywhere in every medium. And one of the really obvious mediums is gonna be TV shows. We're gonna start seeing property TV shows everywhere. They've never fully gone away. Homes on the Hammer, I'm consistently amazed, is still going, still just doing exactly the same thing day after day. And they haven't gone away because whatever the market's doing in the UK, people love property. So second on our list is overseas property market sales heating up. And the reason why it takes off is that in the UK, there's loads of focus around investing in the UK, but yields diminish and people start to look elsewhere. They look for that next fix. They like capital growth in the UK, but maybe 8 10% isn't enough when this other country, which looks really sunny, is offering 20% year-on-year growth at the moment. But we'll also see the reverse of that. We'll see overseas investors start to see the UK as somewhere more exciting to invest, and there'll be more overseas money coming into the UK market. As the boom gets underway, we're going to see even more of that. So as well as all the domestic demand, we're going to see even more global demand. Next on our list are courses. Now, you probably already feel like you get hammered with advertising for courses already. If you go on property websites and you go on social media, if you've shown an interest in property, then if you have the same experience as me, you get followed around the internet by people trying to sell you on ways that you can get rich quickly in property or get to invest in property with little or no money. Unfortunately, it's going to get worse. And there's going to be more and more people pushing courses. Suddenly, people you've never heard of will be these big authority figures on property and will be performing at hotel conference rooms around the country, getting people to sign up to their courses that are going to change their lives. Now, if it was all delivered upon, then absolutely, that sounds wonderful. But unfortunately, the majority, it's not the case. And actually, most people end up spending a lot of money and don't get a lot out of it. And it's a real shame we're going to see more of it as well. So not just the internet, you'll see it. You'll see it all through your newspapers. There'll be people advertising left, right and centre. Wouldn't even be surprised to see TV adverts at some point with people advertising these courses. Next on our list, it's a possibly a slightly bolder prediction, but we expect to see a tallest building project be announced. So the world's tallest building will be superseded by a new project yet to get off the ground. Sorry about the pun. But it almost certainly will happen. Another big building vanity projects will be announced as well. Now, interestingly, Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world currently, which is in Dubai, and the Shard, which is the tallest building in the UK currently, both were conceived as projects right in the middle of the boom phase last time round. They both completed after the crash, actually, but they were conceived as ideas and projects right in the middle of the boom phase, actually moving quite close to the winner's curse near the end of the 18 year property cycle. So do not be surprised again to see announcements, maybe not in the next year or two, but maybe not too long after that, of big, massive, ambitious projects, one of which will probably be the new tallest building. We've already talked about TV shows, but somewhere else that you'll be seeing property all the time is newspapers, and especially reminding you how wealthy you are as a result of property booming. If you were around and paying some kind of attention during the last boom, you'll remember all those headlines about how much money your property is making per day, stories about how much property is earning more than you are. We haven't seen all that for a while now, but that was everywhere for a little while. And I'd say we're almost certain to see that again because they make for great headlines. They make everyone feel good about themselves. And it plays into this psychology, which is what takes a boom and turns it into a bubble, which is where everyone feels rich. Everyone feels like they can go out and spend. Everyone's very aware of what their assets are worth and they're just getting worth more all the time. It feels like they can only ever go one way. And that is what eventually sows the seeds for overconfidence and then the crash that always follows the boom. Next on our list, but that's the improvement in the mortgage market and more flexibility, more offerings coming your way. What well, specifically, what can you expect to see? 
Well, more products will become available. As the market becomes more competitive and the property market heats up, more lenders will want a piece of the action and they'll release more and more products to you. They'll be more creative with the type of products that are presented to you as well. So things like better loan to values. It'll be better loan to values as well with your own home. Yes, you can get 95% at the moment, but if the products are limited. There's not a lot out there. I think there'll be more choice and therefore it'll be easier for first time buyers. They may even make creative ways for first time buyers to get in without really putting a deposit down. Limited company lending will absolutely improve and more big players will move into that market. And also people who want to borrow who may not have a pristine credit rating will find it easier as well. That's already started to ease up or expect that trend to continue. So generally, the mortgage market improving is a good thing, but there'll be a point where it goes too far. And the final thing that you'll notice when we're in a property boom is that everyone is suddenly going to be a property expert. So you know right now you've probably got that friend who's always talking about crypto and like what altcoins they bought last week and how many hundred percent they've gone up for. Probably not telling about the others that have gone down to nothing. But that friend who's become an overnight expert in crypto is going to suddenly turn out to be an expert in property when the boom is in full swing. Everywhere you go, at the pub, at the gym, barbecues, you're going to hear conversations all around you around property values, how much people's houses are worth, how someone's just bought a property to flip, maybe even how they've just bought a property overseas. And it's funny, really, because the best time to have developed an interest in property would have been back at the beginning of the cycle, when prices were low and bargains were everywhere. But this herd mentality is why cycles play out. And it's absolutely guaranteed that stoked by what the market's doing, by the news stories, by what they're seeing on TV, by the courses that are being pushed online, property experts and property conversations and property awareness is going to be absolutely everywhere. Thanks for watching. And if you've made it this far, you may as well subscribe if you haven't already. And if you really love your property content, then make sure you check out the Property Podcast. You can subscribe on any podcast app and it's out every single week.